In this video, we'll write the net ionic equation for CaOH2 plus H2SO4. That's calcium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. So this is a neutralization reaction. We have a strong base and a strong acid here coming together. We get this salt and then we get water. So first we need to write the balanced molecular equation. This is the molecular equation. And to do that, all we really need to do is put a two in front of the H2O. So this equation's balanced. Next, we're gonna write the state of each substance. Calcium hydroxide is a strong base. We're expecting that then to dissociate completely, so it'll be soluble. We put an AQ to show that it's dissolved in water. Sulfuric acid, strong acid, so we'll put AQ after that as well. It's going to dissolve in water. Let's look up calcium sulfate on a solubility table to see if it's soluble. So here's our solubility table. So we want to find calcium right here and then calcium sulfate. Sulfate is over here. So we go across and it says it's slightly soluble. So we're going to consider that to be insoluble. We're going to consider that it's going to be a solid, like a precipitate fall to the bottom of the test tube. Water, we know that's a liquid. So we know the states now. We need to split the soluble compounds into their ions. This is going to be our complete ionic equation. So we need to know the charges on each of the ions. Calcium is in group 2 on the periodic table, so it has a 2 plus ionic charge. And then OH, that's the hydroxide, something you should recognize. It has a negative charge. Hydrogen is in group 1, so that has a positive charge. And then the sulfate, SO4, has a 2 minus charge. So SO4, the sulfate ion, 2 minus, another one to remember. Calcium sulfate, we're not going to split that up because it's actually a solid, so we're not worried about that. It's together at the bottom of the beaker or the test tube as our precipitate. And then water is a liquid, so we don't split that up either. Now we can split everything up and write it down. So we have Ca2+, plus, and I'm not going to write aqueous each time. We'll do that at the end. Plus, we have our OH-, minus, and this 2 here means we have 2 of these hydroxide ions. We'll put a 2 right here. Then we have H plus, that's the hydrogen ion, that's what makes this an acid. We have two of those, plus we have the sulfate ion, SO4, two minus. So those are the reactants. Let's write the products. Because this has a solid after it, it's not split up, we just write CaSO4. And we can put a little S after that to help ourselves remember that since it's a solid, we don't break it apart. Plus H2O, that's a liquid. We're not going to break that apart either. Put a little L after it, and we have two of them. Put a two there. So this is the complete ionic equation. We can now cross out all the spectator ions. These appear on both sides of the equation. So as I look through here, I have calcium, two plus. This calcium is bonded to the sulfate, so these are different. None of these show up. SO4, two minus, that doesn't show up. Then we have our calcium sulfate. That's a solid. And then we have our water. So this is an instance where the complete ionic equation and the net ionic equation, they're the same thing. Again, because we looked this up and it's slightly soluble, that is almost always considered to be a solid because you'll have a lot of it at the bottom of the test tube. Because of that, we don't split this up. That's why we have this calcium sulfate here. This is Dr. B with the balanced net ionic equation for calcium hydroxide plus sulfuric acid. Thanks for watching.